In this video we'll be looking at HCF and LCM. So this is a very, very common GCSE topic to come up in exams. So HCF and LCM, what do they actually stand for? So we have the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. Now if you're not 100% confident with factors and multiples, then I recommend watching my video before this on factors and multiples and I've explained it all there. So they actually just mean it's, it's always looked at as a pair, so two numbers. So it aims to find the highest shared factor between them and the lowest shared multiple between them. So let's put this into practice. So let's take the numbers 8 and 12. Now, with not a lot of thinking, these numbers are quite small, so it's not too difficult. We can basically just list the factors of 8 and 12. So we have 1, 8 and 2 and 4. Nothing too crazy. Now 12, we have 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. Now we can straight away see that the highest factor that is shared between the two is 4. So our HCF is 4. Now let's take a look at the lowest common multiple between these two. And all it takes is to write out the 8 times table. So 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48 and so on. Let's do the same with the 12 times table. We have 12, 24, 36, 48. And as you can see, the first number that appears in both is this 24 here. So the LCM is going to be 24. Now that seems nice and easy. However, that is not the best method to use because if the numbers were a lot bigger, let's take, for example, 45 and 72. This instantly becomes a lot harder. So now what we have to do is it's a two-step process. So we need to find what is called the prime factors of these two numbers. And the way we do that is with a prime factor tree. Now this might be something that is quite familiar to you. It might not be, but I'll explain what to do in a minute. After we found all the prime factors, we then need to put that into a Venn diagram. Now again, a Venn diagram I will explain in a minute if you aren't 100% sure what that is. So how do we do prime factor trees? We put 45 at the top and we must find factors of 45. So this can be anything. This could be 1 and 45, but that won't really take you anywhere here. Um, 9 and 5 is the other one that we can look at. And what you do is you keep going down until we reach all the prime numbers or the, all the prime numbers that go into 45. So here, 5 is already a prime number. If you're not 100% sure what a prime number is, then I will release a video on prime numbers, which you can go and watch as well. So 5 is a prime number. 9, however, we can go down again, because 3 times 3 makes 9. And 3 and 3, or 3, is also a prime number. So now, there are no more branches that we can go off on this tree, so that is the end of it. So we've done 45, now we must do 72 as well. 72 is a little bit harder one. Uh, but numbers that go into 8 and 9 or 6 and 12, we're going to go with 6 and 12 because it's a little bit easier. Now both of these have factors that we can go down to again. So 6 is 3 and 2, and 12 we can go to 4 and 3. Now 3 and 2 are both prime numbers, uh, so we can circle those in red here. However the 4 can go down again into 2 and 2, and that is the end of our prime factor trees for these. So that is the first step done, we can tick that one off. Now the next step is to put it into a Venn diagram. So we can copy this one over and pop it here. Now we need to look at these numbers and we ultimately have to put them into our Venn diagram. So if we make a nice big Venn diagram with a nice big intersection. So a Venn diagram aims to put all the common things into this intersection here and everything else in the circles either side. So we label one side 45, we label the other side 72. And we have to first of all identify what number is common between both. So we can see we have a 3 here and a 3 in 72, and a 3 in 45 and another 3 in 72. So there are two 3s that are common, and everything else isn't common. So the rest of the 45 we put in the 45 side, so the 5 can go here. And then we have three twos here, here, and here to put in the 72 side. And just like that, we've put it all in the Venn diagram. 
So what do we do now? We've almost there. The HCF will be the product of the intersection. So everything in this middle part here, we must times together to get the HCF. So 3 times 3, we know that is equal to 9. Now the LCM is a little bit harder to work out because we need to times together everything in the Venn diagram itself. So a little trick here is, so we need to ultimately times together 5 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now a little trick here is because we've just done the prime factors, we know that this entire circle will times together to make 72 because that's what we've basically just worked out. So all we really have to do is 72 multiplied by 5. Now you can do this however you want. It might be that this is in a calculator paper, so you can do it on a calculator. If not, we know column multiplication, um, but this is going to equal 360. So what do these answers actually mean? We've got 9 and 360. So if we look at 45 and 72 a bit closer, we can actually list out the factors and the multiples. So we have 1 and 45, we have 3 and 15, we have 5 and 9, and that is going to be all of them. Now 72, it could go on forever, but 1 and 72, 2 and 36, um, if we just expand that a little bit more, you'll see that the common one is 9. So that is the highest number that goes into both of these as we worked out. And likewise, if we write out their times tables, 45, 90, 135, and so on, eventually we will get to 360. And 72 is going to go to 144, and so on, but eventually we will get to 360 as well. And that is the lowest number that appears in both of those lists. So that is how to work it out. I hope that helped. Thank you.